Wrecks involving semi-trucks and tractor trailers are unfortunately common, but the recent crash of a Tesla semi last month stands out due to the severe aftermath and the intense fire that followed. For the first time, a Tesla semi was involved in a high-profile incident that resulted in the vehicle burning down completely. The National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, has released an initial report on the accident, providing a detailed look into the events and the dramatic challenges faced by emergency responders. The incident occurred at 3.13 a.m., when the Tesla semi veered off the road to the right. The truck first struck a delineator mounted on a steel post and then collided with a tree slightly over a foot in diameter. Following these impacts, the semi came to rest against several additional trees. Remarkably, the driver was uninjured, but the truck sustained significant damage. The crash scene was significant enough to require road closures for several hours as emergency services worked to contain the situation. The most alarming aspect of the incident was the subsequent battery fire. According to the NTSB report, the fire began after the crash, not before. Once ignited, the blaze proved extraordinarily challenging to manage. Fire crews needed approximately 50,000 gallons of water, equivalent to a tank 8 feet high and 33 feet in circumference, to extinguish the fire. The intense heat from the blaze reached a maximum temperature of about 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 540 degrees Celsius. For context, this temperature is high enough to melt aluminum and is roughly four times the heat required to cause fourth-degree burns. The scale of the fire prompted firefighters to use fire retardant around the blaze to prevent it from spreading. The prolonged effort to control the fire took between 14 and 15 hours, indicating the extraordinary measures needed to handle such a dangerous situation. Several critical details about the crash and fire remain unclear. The NTSB has not yet determined what caused the driver to veer off the road. Investigators are also working to understand if there were any external factors contributing to the crash, such as road conditions, weather, or mechanical failures. Another significant unanswered question is the exact nature of the battery damage that led to the fire. Understanding what specifically compromised the battery's integrity and triggered the intense blaze is crucial for improving safety measures and preventing similar incidents in the future. One noteworthy point from the NTSB report is that at the time of the crash, the Tesla Semi was not using any automated driving systems. This detail is important as it helps rule out potential issues related to Tesla's autopilot or full self-driving features in this particular incident. It also shifts the focus to other factors that may have contributed to the crash and subsequent fire. As investigations continue, the information from this report will be crucial in shaping safety protocols for electric trucks. The high temperature and extensive use of water highlight the unique challenges associated with managing fires in electric vehicles, particularly those with large battery packs. Additionally, understanding the specifics of what led to the crash will be vital for both Tesla and the broader trucking industry as they seek to enhance vehicle safety and reliability. In conclusion, while the Tesla semi-crash presents several challenges and unanswered questions, it also underscores the need for continued advancements in vehicle safety technology. As the investigation progresses, we can expect further updates that will provide more insights into the incident and potentially lead to improvements in both electric vehicle design and emergency response strategies.